morning guys and welcome back to another vlog so this vlog is going to basically be a weekend refresh i have to go to the grocery store today and fill my fridge back up because before i left for my little mini getaway i emptied the fridge drunk all the waters and stuff so there's no more waters left so i would need to go to whole foods to buy more water a couple grocery items and then i have to go to trader joe's to buy fresh flowers the eucalyptus in my shower has officially died and it's probably been about three weeks so they do really last i took a shower last night and i knew something was missing so i have to go pick up some more eucalyptus and i wanted to pick up some fresh flowers for the week so yeah this vlog is pretty much just going to be me getting back into the routine of things since being away for the weekend please press the blue button for a ticket please take your ticket inside Just left Whole Foods, haven't had Starbucks in a while, so we are heading to a Starbucks right now. I have to go to the mall today. I really did not want to go to the mall only because I've been there like for the past couple of days and I just really want to relax other than having to do the things that I have to do like buying groceries and things like that for the house but I just really 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 wanted to relax today I have to go to the mall because I bought a couple of things from the mall in Arizona and obviously with COVID you can't try things on so um, most of them don't fit so I have to go return those I wanted to see if I can exchange it for something if I feel like walking around but um, I'm trying to contemplate on whether or not I wanted to go to perimeter or Linux because perimeter I like to go in and go straight out because it's really typically no line whereas in Linux it's always a line and the line is literally always out the door but the hack to the Zara's are you have to go find either the kids or the men's department where they are checking people out that's where there are no lines at all that's when I figured it out but other than that like the women's section like even to return things the lines is always so long and I also have an order I have to pick up from Zara but they're not it's not ready yet it hasn't sent me a confirmation email to say like you know your order is ready for pickup yet too so I'm trying to contemplate on whether or not I should just go ahead and return these things now and then go pick those up at a later date or just do everything all at once I have to look at my receipt and see like what's the time frame as far as like return goes but um yeah I haven't had Starbucks in a couple of days and I'm actually really craving a matcha green tea latte so we are heading to starbucks now and then we have to go to trader joe's there's always a line at the starbucks i hope they still have matcha powder because the last time i came here they were out so. so i saw this drink on tiktok and i was curious as to whether or not i wanted to try it today it's a iced green tea latte with pumps of chai I'm trying to contemplate if I want to waste $5 today or if I want to get something that I know for a fact that I'm actually going to enjoy. But um, I'm probably just going to play it safe because I don't know. I don't really like chai. Like the thing with chai is it's a little bit spicy and it has that cinnamon taste. And I'm not too crazy about cinnamon. I really wanted to get into like the pumpkin spice and all of that. And typically like every single time it becomes fall, I'll get the pumpkin spice once to either take a picture of it with like my nails for the aesthetics and take one or two sips and then throw it out because I don't really like the taste of cinnamon. But I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to take that risk or just play it safe. 
I think I'm just gonna play it safe today because I don't really have time for my stomach to be bubbling and all of that. So I've been posting so much on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me. But you guys have been asking me every single day, every time I upload something, you guys are like, where are the vlogs? Where are the vlogs? And you guys, I literally am working so hard on filming all of this content for you guys because the minute I sit down to edit all of these videos, I will probably like knock out for two days because when I edit, I, ser I seriously sit there and like say F the world. I edit for like four or five hours. I don't leave my computer. So I am in the process of filming. Well, I've already filmed like three videos. I have the video before I left for vacation, the video on vacation, and now the videos after vacation. So bear with me guys. It's a lot of content coming. It's just when I sit down and edit, I literally have to sit down and edit for hours. And I wanted to just make sure I have all of like my chores and like my errands done before I do all of that. So yes, the content is coming. You guys, I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to like pump out content for you guys. And I'm not going to complain about it because I do have my lazy days. But just know that this time around, I am trying and the vlogs are coming. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Rebecca. What is your name? Ju. J-U. Hi, Ju. What's my good starter for you? Hey, can I get a grande ice matcha green tea latte with soy milk? Grande ice matcha with soy. Can you guys shake it up in the shaker, please? And I do want that sweetened. All right, the grande. Tender. Pressing buttons on this. Anything else for you today? That's it. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Thank you. We'll see you at that one day. Okay. guys grocery shopping is complete it's almost 12 o'clock i didn't realize i had so many groceries so i'm gonna go home and drop them off because i don't want them to just sit in the car and then we're going to head to the mall i'm still contemplating on which mall i want to go to but whatever we'll figure that hey guys, out later. if you or anybody you know is moving or has an apartment or lives in an apartment or whatever the case is you need to buy one of these wagons i got it as a housewarming gift and it's literally the best investment ever like i'm so thankful for this gift so i'm about to put the eucalyptus together in my last vlog when i did this i told you guys i was just going to reuse these rubber bands but the funny ironic thing is one of the toys that i bought chanel has these little strings that is perfect to tie these together and put them over the um, shower head so i'm gonna just take off like one or two of them and just use it to tie it I ended up getting two bunches of just these like big leaf eucalyptus only because it's the only one that I saw that they had but I'm just gonna take out a couple of stems to put into my flower arrangement for the living area. So these are just gonna go into the bathroom. And just like how I did in the last vlog, I just put it all together like this and tie it around with the string yes what a way to recycle 
I bought the toy from TJ Maxx and the other day she was playing with it and typically that's like her goal is to like break apart the toy. So I didn't realize like this is the perfect string for it. So the more she would like break apart her toy, the more I would run after and grab these little strings from her toy. This looks even more aesthetic than like the rubber bands, but let's go put them in the shower. I've been on Pinterest so much that I'm just learning things that are like, not necessarily pointless, but not things that is like the everyday good thing to know, but I learned how to put flowers in a vase. So basically all I'm doing is putting just a little bit of room temperature water and then I'll take some tape and kind of like tape the top part, just like probably like three pieces. And I'm using clear tape so that way like when I start to put the flowers in, you can't really see the tape but this is mainly supposed to like hold the flowers into position rather than trying to put like a whole bunch of flowers in here and it won't line up properly so I just bought like two batches of hydrangeas and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the food into the water okay yeah that was good so, I only have three bunches. I'm not a professional at this yet, you guys, but it's coming. I just feel it. I'm gonna be one of those people who enjoy making flower arrangements. I mean, I enjoy making flower arrangements now, but like, I'm not necessarily the best at it right now, but soon to come. The rest of these eucalyptus is just gonna act as fillers to kind of like make it look really full. I probably should have bought another bunch, but it's okay. Flowers die anyway, but it's just nice to have in the house. Not my finest work, but <laughs> it'll do. So you guys see what I mean? Like when you put the tape on there, like it just stands up the flowers very nicely and it kind of gives it some dimension with these like little eucalyptus coming out of it.
how my nails turned out the lighting isn't so good in here but it's like a really pretty like yellow and nude ombre afternoon guys it is 12 o'clock i just left the mall i finished running all of my errands and i thought i'd pull out my vlogging camera it's literally been a week since i last vlogged my nails have literally grown out so much i need to get them done again but thankfully it's like a nude ombre so like you can't really tell when it grows out but 
y'all i just got my lashes redone i got a whole new set super thick and long and fluffy i actually didn't get my lashes as long this time just trying different things trying to see what look i like the best but so far i like the look of like full lashes i hate when they look like really natural i don't know it's just something that just doesn't work for me i tried to get natural lashes like two weeks ago and i just i just didn't like them so yeah it is a beautiful day today here in atlanta the sun is out y'all i got my short shorts on i wanted to go sit out by the pool but this pollen literally will not let me win so i think i'm just gonna wait until like pollen season is over i had a lot of things to do this morning and now that i'm finally finished with all of my errands and going to the mall if you guys are a um sephora vip member they do have a sale and i did buy a couple of goodies even though the last time i went to sephora i did buy a lot of things already but i wanted to buy Buy more of the things that I purchased because I've emptied them and then I did buy a couple of skincare items as well and um, some sunscreen and stuff like that I'll show you guys later on in this vlog and um, I also bought a lot of clothes from Zara I've been buying a lot of clothes from Zara for the past week two weeks just having packages come to the house and stuff and I was constantly on whether or not I was going to try on every individual piece and do a try on haul in this vlog or if I was just gonna do a separate video and my sister insisted that I just do it in a separate video since it is over 10 pieces and it might be a drag to this vlog so be on the lookout for that and then I also purchased a couple of things from Louis Vuitton it's a couple luxury purchases and um, also contemplating on whether or not I was going to do a separate video or if I was just going to include that in this vlog and it's obviously going to be in a separate video as well so yeah a lot of content coming soon but um i feel like i'm just rambling on now i'm going to starbucks and i will see you guys when i get there hi welcome to v tree battle starbucks my name is spencer what's your name ju j u hi ju how are you today good how are you I'm doing well. Let's have a good start for you today. Can I get a grande strawberry acai refresher? To the grande strawberry acai refresher, would you like this with water, lemonade, or coconut milk today? Water, please. Great. And what else for you? And can I also get a grande matcha green tea latte made with soy milk? Right. For the grande matcha green tea latte made with soy milk. And sweetened with classic, please. Alrighty. And what uh, about ice today? Ice. Alrighty. What else for you? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you today? Good, how are you? 991. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. I feel like I haven't given you guys a fridge tour in a while, even though probably in every single vlog I give you guys a fridge tour. But my toxic trait is literally buying things like for guests and things that look aesthetically pleasing. So like I have all of my drinks here and it looks nice and full. And I love the look of a nice and full fridge, but it's really like no food <laughs> to eat. Like I have fruits, which I eat all the time. And then I have my bread, which I eat breakfast with. But other than that, like it's really no food. I eat out all the time if you guys watch my vlogs you know like literally go to like restaurants eating out a lot but like a lot of the stuff in my fridge is like kind of like non-perishable like i can have cheese and butter and things like that in my fridge forever and when i do feel like cooking i'll have it to cook and then i have like a lot of like my breakfast foods here which doesn't expire quickly so luckily i do have that and then i always have onions and just bought some spinach and then i have limes lemons and oranges in there and then my fruit which i eat on a daily always gotta have water and i've recently been obsessed with this water if you watched my last vlog then you'll know and i also love this apple juice it's actually on sale right now at whole foods so go ahead and grab you some i bought a whole case and some half drunken wine which i probably have to throw out. i like sparkling wines and this one has probably been sitting for about a week now and it's probably no longer sparkling so i'll probably have to throw that out and i'm probably exposing myself right now but my pantry well what is supposed to be my pantry literally looks so crazy i have not been able to find like a good organization system for this hot mess like i literally buy things and just shove it in here but it doesn't 
look as bad. It's a lot better than my last pantry. My last pantry was like a long, like a real pantry. The only issue with that is like I was buying things and I, it was just like I was putting things in and I wasn't able to see everything in the back and a lot of things expired before I could even like get to it because I didn't know it was back there. I'm probably gonna end up having to buy like, you know, the storage bins so I can put like these chips in there. And then this stuff, I don't know how I'm going to tackle it, how I'm going to organize it, but something has got to give because this literally looks insane whereas my coat closet doesn't look nearly as bad it is some type of organization going on here i have like my instapot big pots and boxes and stuff like that up there and then i kind of use this coat closet kind of like storage and like inventory and i say inventory because i have like all of my extra stuff that i bought here all of the drinks and stuff that's supposed to go in the fridge whenever i run out of things i hate running out of things so i always have to buy a lot more than what i know i'm going to need because i just hate running out of things so i just have like chanel's dog food right here and then all of this stuff was from my last apartment like all of my filming equipment and stuff i didn't have anywhere else to put it so i just put it in here and then this little like cubicle i bought it from i think target and i still have it it just it works perfectly in this closet so my ring light um garbage bags trash bags extra chips and you know you always gotta have some <laughs> cup noodles but um yeah i have like this bowl which has all of like uh mail and stuff like that masks hand sanitizer haven't used my diffuser yet so it's just sitting there but i don't know like it's just such a clustered mess but it doesn't look bad so and it's in a closet so i just always you know just close it up nobody sees it anyway so i just went to go pick up my packages my brother came over the other day and he fell in love with the black face mask that i always mention to you guys and i gave him my whole pack so i have to order some more this is what that is as always i will link it down below for you guys and this is another package from amazon are you guys tired of opening packages with me i love watching like people unbox their packages and seeing what they order maybe i'm just nosy but um i have been like going crazy with unboxing and stuff like that as of like my last couple videos so if you guys are tired of that let me know down in the comments and i will um not do it as much but i did get a hair crimper i used to have one of these and i don't know what happened to them but um i wanted to get a new one this one is pink it's a three barrel one and i wanted to crimp my hair my hair is growing out so much and i was kind of like at the phase where i either wanted to cut it into a short bob which i do every single year because i hate the part where it's like you're waiting for it to grow out so it's not a bob but it's not long either so it's like middle length medium length and i hate that i don't know what it is like it's either long and i love it or short and i love it i don't know i don't like it in between but um this package is something that i mentioned to you guys in my last video i'm very very excited that it's finally here because it took forever to get here it's a package from neiman's and they always package and everything like so securely and it is a glass piece so i'm sure that's why it has all like these little stickers that say yeah, fragile and handle with care i mentioned this item to you guys in my last video if you haven't seen that yet i will link it somewhere up here Oh my goodness, look how cute. I don't know if I'm actually gonna put like anything in it, but it's a very, very cute ceramic piece. And it's just, you know, art. Has different faces all around gold in the inside this piece was 58 dollars. like i said it is a little bit overpriced but you guys this is really good quality it's glass ceramic and it's just like a i feel like it's a conversation starter like it's just a piece that you know it's really unique you know designer then you'll know what brand this is it's just so cute to me so as promised i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up from sephora today the first thing is this acne clearing wash by the brand Peter Thomas Roth. I mentioned this in one of my videos. I bought the whole kit and I loved how this wash works. I feel like it really cleared up my skin, especially with all the mask knee and stuff. I told you guys the reason why I bought the kit was to cure that. And as you can see, like it is not nearly as bad as what it used to be. This one was fairly cheap as well. And it's a really big bottle. It's 8.5 fluid ounces. So with the sale, it was only $31 and it's 
really big and it's really inexpensive compared to like all of the other washes this is how it looks like outside of the packaging i genuinely really love this product even though it is an acne clearing wash it doesn't dry out my skin and next i also picked up this pore dermabrasion exfoliator by the brand dr brandt originally 58 dollars and i got it for 46 dollars i wanted something a little bit more strong to exfoliate my skin and this says that it's obsessively targeted exfoliator featuring physical and chemical exfoliation with pore perfection ingredients to deep clean and refine pores and this is how it looks I've never used this brand before, but I did see a lot of good reviews and it's supposed to help refine the appearance of pores, deep clean pores, and help smooth the appearance of skin texture. And I just picked up some chapstick by the brand Fresh. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. The original price is $26. I got it for $20. I always buy chapsticks. I always run out. I have like four chapsticks in my car, two chapsticks in my purse, one by my bed, a couple in my bathroom. I just love having chapstick all over the place. Ooh, this one's really, really smooth. I love the applicator as well. And the packaging is really minimalistic, simple. Love that. And I also picked up some sunscreen by the brand Super Goop. This was $20. This is SPF 40. I don't have any sunscreen. I know guys, it's bad. So I wanted to pick some up, especially since it's about to be the summertime and you know, you need sunscreen for your skin. This is a mini version, like I said. They have a bigger version. I just wanted to try it out and see how it works for me. It is a weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for face that smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place, and leaves a velvety soft finish so that's how it looks last item i picked up some new foundation by the brand pat mcgrath i loved their concealer and this is just the skin fetish subline perfection foundation another youtuber that i was watching her name is marie j and she swears by this foundation this was only it was 68 dollars originally but i got it for 54 dollars. so if you want to try a new foundation especially this one 70 dollars is kind of a high price for foundation but this is the perfect time to try it now so if you guys have have any suggestions on what I should get especially um, during this time for the Sephora sale let me know down in the comments below I have a feeling I'm going to have to end up ordering a couple more items only because I went to the website and realized that I didn't get some of the items that I had on my list in store today so I'm probably just going to put another order online and just have everything shipped to my house